even contemplate offering teachers. Question number eight, Tamati Coffey. Uh, tēnā koe, Mr Speaker. Uh, my question is to the Minister of Housing and Urban Development and reads, what progress, if any, has been made in implementing the government's Kiwi Build programme? The Honourable Phil Twyford. <laughs> Mr Speaker, on Monday, pre-qualification opened and the first families have now fully completed the Kiwi Build application process ahead of the first ballots next month. So far, more than 1,800 applicants have started their applications and have taken the first step to owning their own Kiwi Build home. This comes on top of the now over 40,000 Kiwis who have expressed an interest in owning their own home through Kiwi Build. <coughs> what does the pre qualification process entail? The pre qualification process is where potential Kiwi Build buyers show that they meet the eligibility criteria declare that they will live in their home and organise finance. There is no rush and families should take their time to organise their finance and documentation. There will always be plenty of notice and the Kiwi Build unit will let them know as new homes come onto the market in the coming months. Are banks supporting the pre-qualification process? Yes, they are. The major banks have been very supportive of Kiwi Build and have been willing and open to help make the dream of home ownership come true for more New Zealanders. On Monday, Kiwi Bank also announced it is putting itself out there as the first choice for Kiwi Build participants. They will pre approve customers for up to 90% of the value of a Kiwi Build home, meaning that Kiwi families will only need a 10% deposit on these new builds. Kiwi Bank has also announced that it will contribute $2,000 to moving or legal expenses. Question number nine, the Honourable Scott Simpson. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister for the...